You guys, things are getting messy between Troy, Zaria, and Troy's mom, Karen. And it all started Friday night after the season finale. Troy and Zaria did their normal live after the show. And while they're on live, they were speaking with Troy's baby mama. And it happened to be her 30th birthday. And Zaria claims that Troy's baby mama had been reaching out saying that she needed a few things for her daughter Troy and Zaria was like well now it's her birthday send me your iPay or whatever and I'll send you some money and next thing you know Zaria shared on her live that she just sent Troy's baby mama a hundred dollars she's like look there's no beef we're on good terms then she made like a birthday post for her she said, happy birthday to baby Troy's mommy, Yana. It's your big 30th, and I hope you enjoy your day. You're an amazing mom, and one thing about it, you always going to make a way. I'm grateful for our growth, and what's understood doesn't need to be explained. It's only up from here. Once Troy's mom, Karen, got news that Troy's baby mama received $100 from Zaria on her birthday, she said, happy birthday to my daughter-in-law, Yana. Yes, Yana, people, his real wife, Z is the side piece. You can tell she was trying to get under Zaria's skin with that comment. And Troy jumped in the comments, and he told his own mama to suck his dick. He said, suck my D, stupid. Stop being messy. Nobody got to give you money every time you ask for it. F out of here. Then he said, clown ass mother of mine. Y'all mad nobody gave her money. Mad because my wife gave my baby mama $100. And they claim that Karen had recently hit them up for like $25 and they turned her down. But they claim that they have gave her money plenty of times in the past. And this one time they turned her down, that's when she started making these posts. And Troy and Zaria went live and were arguing with Troy's mom. And she even start saying that Zaria allegedly had STDs and that Zaria had $90,000 in the bank so there's no reason why they shouldn't be helping her out and somebody posted this in a Love After Lockup Facebook group saying you know imagine having a mother who tell the world you have herpes because you want to send her $25 for some gummies and Troy commented and he said thank you for posting this my mother will spread lie after lie for attention and it's sick because she's almost 60 years old and to treat your son like that after you gave me up and I'm still willing to love her and she hates me who lies about their son saying something like that so she never cared about me and she cares about social media more. All because my wife sent my baby mother $100 for her birthday, shaking my head. Then Troy's mom posted, and no, I don't want ish from them because I don't want nobody to give me something if they're not giving it from their heart. And F them and they $25. And actually, I didn't even ask for $25. I was telling her that it was lunchtime and I wanted to get some lunch because they said they can order from where they is. So that's why I did that. But F that B-I-T-C-H. She ain't got to give me ish and I mean what the F I say. Then she said, you know, this is a damn shame. People get on TV and they taking it to another level as of now is sad because now I will no longer be talking to my son. His wife is a non-factor to me, so she don't count. Okay, so now I want to react to part of a lie that Troy did from last night. And I believe this is right after his mom, Karen, ended up posting about Zaria being the side piece and Yona being the real wife. This was like his immediate reaction right when he jumped on live. So he was very upset at the time. So we're going to react to it. I will warn you guys now, he did cuss a lot and drop a lot of words that I can't use on YouTube. So if it does seem kind of choppy, I apologize. I may have to censor some things out, but I will like kind of try to caption it in the bottom when I do 
chop things out so you can still understand like what was said or what was cut out. And yes, I am sunburned really bad. <laughs> I've been at a festival all day and yeah, I got really sunburned. So let's go ahead and get into this. And then I will speak more on my thoughts. So let's watch. And shout out to the Love After Lockup Unfiltered Facebook group. They are the ones that caught this gem. It's, my, it's for, because of my wife, because of me. Y'all ain't hit. Y'all ain't put no money in my pocket. Ain't nobody give me nothing when I came home. None of the bros. They give me a dollar. T-shirt, pair of socks, pair of drawers. None of that shit. Everything that I make, I got that shit on my own from prison. Me and my wife been ran it up. It's been seen a quarter million dollars. Facts. No cap. That's gangster. My mother's mad because my wife gave my baby mother $100 for her birthday. She asked for $25. So she's going off making statuses. You doing all this. Facts. Talking about some take my name off them gummies. Your name not on them gummies. Your name is Karen Swan. Karen Burdett. When you have issues with family members, social media is not the place. But for her to also want to instantly get mad and say, oh, I'm not doing this gummy business anymore after they've already spent all this time making them. And I think they've launched already or are about to launch and then suddenly want to change your mind because you don't get money. I don't like that. Not black Karen. That's my shit. Everything that I did, I signed, sealed, and stamped. That's my family. I don't fuck y'all. That's real shit. That's real shit. He's always got their hands out begging. I got a whole daughter. I got a whole daughter. I got kids. I got a wife that I take care of. You don't do shit, bitch. You never did for me my whole life. Tell everybody you ain't. Tell oh, I forgot he was on the phone with his mom at this time. Tell everybody you a deadbeat mother. Tell everybody you a deadbeat mother. Karen is a deadbeat mother, y'all. Karen is a deadbeat mother. Y'all letting this money, y'all letting this fame, y'all letting this in your head. Tell the bros, tell your mama, tell your aunt, anybody that know Troy Jones, tell them. Y'all ain't never did for me. Did seven years in jail. I ain't even been home five five months. I bet you I ran laps around. Where your bag at? Because mine's bigger. If you tell him to stop, I'm going to block you. you telling him to stop. No, because it's okay. It's okay when everybody else do it, though. It's okay when y'all get on here and do it, though. Right? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Tell the Facebook group that. Tell you from the demon. Be crazy. Play with me if you want to. I ain't capping. I'm Syracuse, New York. Y'all know exactly what I'm and here's the thing. A lot of people were saying they think he's on drugs from this. I just feel like he's emotional and passionate because I would feel the same way if my mom made a status about that, about me and the person that I'm married to on Facebook, especially knowing that I have a following like that. I feel some type of way too. And I have family members who are just like this that take stuff to social media as soon as they don't get their way. And that shit will piss you off. So I completely understand. I mean, Facebook is not the place for this, but I mean, I get where, why he's upset. I know exactly where I'm at. Pull up, pull up. Anybody, anybody, pull up. Y'all know exactly where I'm at. Everybody, y'all know my location. That shit dropped. That my, my location been dropped. I'm on it. Okay, well, maybe we shouldn't be doing that. Say emotional or upset that is, social media is the last place you need to go because if i there's so many times i'd be tempted to just put my business out there do this or do that and then like the next day i'm thinking i'm like oh my god i'm so glad i did not do that because it's not everybody's business to know some things you got to keep for yourself it's not that cheap over 25 dollars People have been saying for the longest they feel like Troy married his mother and now I'm starting to agree with them because it seems like Troy's mom Karen and Zaria are both bipolar as hell. And then after this live and then he did another live earlier on Saturday morning, he posted my mother cannot go on Facebook and she wants to clear her name. She's calling me asking everybody, can the people who have her post screenshot please delete them because she cannot get back on Facebook until they're gone supposedly. And she admits that everything she said about me was a complete lie and she was just mad at me. And this right here is why you don't get on Facebook while you're in your feelings. And then she said, anyways, she has apologized to me and my wife and vice versa. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all Saturday with the family drama in real life and not TV. Y'all have, have now met my mother, Karen. 
then Troy posted, I exposed myself. Now y'all all can shut the F up and gone all about y'all business. And I still love my mother and I just cannot, and I mean I cannot stand her ass. I love you too, Ma. Learn how to love your kids and be an actual mother. I'm not the one to play with and that goes for everybody. I have no mercy. Man, this was like a whole episode of Love After Lockup just from the drama from the past few days with these three. And I'm sure there's going to be even more drama in the future. Like I saw the previews for this season of Life After Lockup and there are quite a few different intense fights between Saria and Troy. So it does not look like their fighting is going to be slowing down anytime soon, at least for this next season. But that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.